He's joining us now from South Korea. Ponyang. Uh, Ponyang. Ponyang. Pyeongchang. Pyeongchang. Spell Pyeong. that. Everyone spell that for P -Y -E -O -N -G -C -H -A -N -G. me. P-Y-E-O-N-G-C-H-A-N-G. Ah. Yes! It says there. Where, Toby, Toby, it is very, very cold, isn't it? How cold is it? Um, so it's been minus 19. Oh, mm, ouch. Like minus 19 degrees, yeah. Oh. Um, so, Toby, you haven't competed yet, you and the guys, have you? Uh, no, we haven't. We're due to compete on the 24th and 25th of February. So how are your days spent? Is it all training? So right now we're, we're training as hard as we can. Um, we're away from the village at the moment, so we're in um, a secret location <laughs> in, um, in Seoul. And we're using it as a, as a base camp and we're getting as much training in as possible. Okay. Just finding a means. Um, I was in a position where um, Bob says a sport where it's not so it's not so um, financially lucrative as um, as other sports. Um, there isn't a lot of money flowing around in the sport, and it doesn't really get attention on, on, until the Olympics. Um, and I had to I had to sort of, um, provide means for myself to, to live and um, to compete at the same time. And Bob say requires you to be away for six months of the year. Yeah. So um, I found um, I, I was working as a cover teacher. But I found me, the commitments I had to um, put towards Bob say, I found it compromising on my role. I know, so um, um, I had to make a short-term solution and, and the you, game shows were, were it. I know you weren't successful in the... Q well, you were quite successful. You got 10,000 then you lost it again. We know it's a very difficult game. But you were successful on Deal or No Deal. £12,000 yeah. you walked away with. I was able to, to, to buy the equipment I needed. Um, I mean, just to give you an idea, um, our spikes, so our running shoes... Um, which are specialist running shoes, with shoes to enable you to run, run a nice. They cost three hundred pounds um, alone, and they don't last for too long. Um, yeah. So even that, and then we have um, something called a Burns vest, which is to protect you um, if you are in an unfortunate event of um, being in a crash. You have to wear a Burns vest, and they cost five hundred pounds. Yeah, and yeah, and that's it. just what you're wearing, yeah. and not to mention the sled itself and all the equipment to do with the sled. It's but an expensive let, but sport. Let me ask, but let me ask you this. I mean, it's a scary sport that, that you take part in, bobsleigh, absolutely. It's, it's like a speeding bullet. Uh, but which is more scary, appearing on a TV quiz or game show, <laughs> being fired out of a cannon, or being in a bobsleigh? I mean, I've said it before. Um, being fired out of a cannon um, <laughs> probably takes take is is the, is the more scary of the three. Um, it is it is something that I have never witnessed. Uh, something I never want to witness again. Um, <laughs> but um, but Bob say is scary. But Bob say is, is a scary aspect where um, you get used to it and you know what's to come. Whereas being fired out of a cannon, I don't think you can ever get used to that. Well, listen, you'll be hurtling down about 94 miles per hour. You said you're determined to come home with a medal. What kind of metal are we looking at here, do you think? And we're going for gold. Going I mean, that's, gold. That's, that's what we're... That was we're, a good quiz show as well. <laughs> going for gold, Henry Kelly. That, that, was, that was brilliant, was, that one. Well, Look, listen, yeah. keep up the training. Keep, keep warm, keep your thermals on. Uh, don't get injured and you bring home that gold medal. And we would love to have you on this morning when you bring it home. Thank you very much for your time, and hopefully we do that. And tell everyone to keep supporting. And tell my girlfriend, I said, I love you. Valentine's Day. Valentine's back Day. What, what's her name? Uh, Jennifer Dyer. Jennifer, Jennifer Dyer, he loves you. Yeah. Toby loves you. How lovely. Good man, Toby. Good luck, Toby. Good man, Toby. Thank you very much. Thank Bye, you. guys.